welcome friends welcome to the knowledge club online today i am going to discuss about the mrna capping the nascent pre mrna is a long contains various elements uh, which are to be cut and processed and uh, it also undergoes various modifications uh, fit to be translated uh, into a functional protein pre mrna goes through various processing steps to generate functional or translationable rna as the pre mrna emerge during transcription the 5 prime end is free if allowed it to be free it will be soon degraded by 5 prime exonuclease it aids in mrna transportation it binds to poly a binding proteins through a factor called cap binding factor g and enhance the rate of translation capping complex associated with a phosphorylated rnp2 ctd tail performs capping at the 5 prime end of the pre mrna the ctd tail has the repeats of seven amino acids y1 s2 p3 t4 s5 p6 s7 the s y and t are the sites for phosphorylation this sequence is repeated 22 to 52 times in rna p2 enzymes as the 5 prime end of the pre mrna emerges out of rna p2 complex the ctd bound capping complexes add guanine to the first pa or pg of the precursor mrna eukaryotes have designed to have a multisubunate complex associated with the ctd carboxy terminal domain complex tail the complexes perform capping splicing and poly a addition as the mrnas are transferred eukaryotes have devised process to prevent mrnas from exonuclease degradation from both 5 prime end and 3 prime end and stabilize the mrna and to make it to be translation efficient the latter is achieved by the addition of guanine phosphate to the 5 prime end of phosphate or the first nucleotide mostly adenine this is called the cap and then the guanine is added with a methyl group at 7 position or 7 position ch3 guanine itself is added first 7 prime ch3 7 prime ch3 g5 prime ppp plus ppp 5 prime ap nnn n 3 prime 7 prime ch3 7 prime ch3 g5 prime ppp a p n n n plus p plus p plus p the enzyme that performs this reaction is a guanylyl transferase the capping involves 5 prime to 5 prime phosphate bond enzymes required for this process are assembled on ctd tail of rna pol 2 large subunit 7 prime ch3 g 5 prime ppp 5 prime a is equals to cap 0 2 prime o ch3 a is equals to cap 1 7 prime ch3 g5 prime ppp plus ppp 5 prime a nna 7 prime ca3 g5 prime ap bp pa 5 prime a nn in addition more methyl groups are added to 2 prime oh group of the first nucleotide and then to be second and third added 7 prime ca3 g is termed as cap 0 Addition of methyl group to 2 prime OH of ribose of the first nucleotide is called cap 1. Methylation of adenine at its 6th position 
often takes place at a frequency of uh, frequency of one in thousand molecules, which is also called cap one. Any addition of methyl group to two prime which of the ribose of the second and third is called cap two, cap three, and so on. The enzyme for adding methyl moiety to two prime which group of the ribose is a two prime O methylase. In ortho mixovirus viruses, uh, addition of cap like structure to its RNA or RNA is uh, entirely different. Viral enzymes uh, choose host uh, capped mRNAs and cut the leader sequence uh, with a few more nucleotides uh, at uh, A or G, then uh, adds this segment to its 5' uh, end of viral sense uh, RNA, a process called capping by molecular stealing. In eukaryotes, in eukaryotes, cap structure is not just the part of pre mRNAs, but cap structure is added. Many small molecular weight, as an RNAs through they are non-coding RNAs. Some viral RNAs use 5' VPG as the cap. Capping takes place very early during mRNA synthesis. Now, come to the cap analogs enhance mRNA stability and translation efficiency. Many eukaryotic and viral mRNAs are modified at their 5' ends by addition of 7 methyl guanosine, N7 methyl guanosine or M7G, known as cap. Capping of the mRNA structure plays a crucial role in a variety of cellular processes of which include translation initiation, splicing, intracellular transport and turnover. Capped mRNAs are generally more efficient translated in a vitreum and reticulocyte in vitro translation system and they are less susceptible to exonuclease degradation during microinjection experiment compared to uncapped mRNAs. However, it is to be noted that the unmethylated cap along flows no significant differences in its translation properties compared to the monomethylated cap analog. In Ascaris lubricoids, transcription of the spliced leader RNA was catalyzed by RNA polymerase 2, and the majority of spliced leader RNA synthesized in vitro process are trimethyl guanosine cap structure identical to that found on in, in vivo synthesized splice leader RNA. It should be noted uh, capping of uh, N um, mRNA can be RNA cap analog one unmethylated G to G5 PPP5G3 monomethylated M7G 5 prime PPP 5 prime G Capping of mRNA can be done in an in vitro condition too. Primitive eukaryotes uh, like cyanohabditis uh, allegens produce mRNAs capped with either M7GTP or M3227 GTP. Kinohabditis allegens also expresses five isoforms of the cap binding protein EIF4E. Some isoforms, that is IFE3, bind to the M7. Some isoforms of IFE3 bind to the M7 GTP. Sulfurose exclusively, whereas other example IFE5 bind to both M7 GTP and M3227 GTP sepharose. Hiroshi Mayoshi 2 donated as duet 3 Brett uh, D. Kaper analyzed this. What is the importance of capping? The capping prevents 5' degradation from 5' exonuclease. Capping provides stability to mRNAs. Capping facilitates the transport of mRNA into cytoplasm, otherwise they remain in the nucleus.
Capping enhances the efficiency of translation of mRNAs. Capping enhances the efficiency of splicing at a 5' end entrance. Capping with poly A provides synergism during translation. Luciferous mRNAs have been used to determine its half-life and translation efficiency with or with cap and without cap and poly A tail. Half-life of a luciferous mRNA without cap and without poly A is just 31 minutes and translational activity is 2900 as measured in terms of light emitted by muja of radiated protein. But mRNAs without cap with a poly A tail shows half-life of 44 minutes and its activity is 4480. The cat mRNA without poly A has a half-life of 53 minutes and translation activity is 62000, a virtual 50% increase in its half-life and translational efficiency. The cat mRNA with a poly A tail has a half-life of 100 minutes and its translational activity is 1333000, the relative effect of cap on its activity 200 fold during translation mrna cap and poly a tail bind to each other through a protein ef4g and it gets circularized this lecture may be helpful to you thank you